410 educators, a dozen or so AOPA You Can Fly staffers, one veteran astronaut, and five world-famous ducks walk into a hotel. Heard that one before? Well, probably not. But that's the scene at the Peabody Hotel in Memphis for the AOPA You Can Fly High School Aviation STEM Symposium. Teachers and school administrators from around the United States found great value in being a part of the three-day immersion. Raymond D. Dr. G. Gonzalez is the ice team coordinator and science teacher at Fordham Preparatory School in the Bronx, New York. He sees the event as a great way to help his students get plugged into the future need of the aviation aerospace community. Well, an event like this, you really make the bridge between classroom instruction and the future industry. Uh, this was a dream come true to come here. In addition to a tour of FedEx, teachers got to spend time in the exhibit hall getting hands-on with the products available for them in their classroom. Nathan Hoskins is a first-year teacher from Kentucky. He found that visiting with other educators helped him out tremendously. I think I've gotten more out of it than I expected because I thought that I was going to learn about the AOP, AOPA curriculum and see the breakout sessions, but actually like I've learned so much more than that because I got to meet with other educators that are I'm in the same boat with and got to hear their tips and tricks and their experiences. And everyone got to hear a chat with astronaut Ricky Arnold and an inspiring message from media personality and pilot Kelly Edwards. YouTuber and airline pilot Swain Martin served as the event host. He said it was a fantastic gathering because of the cross-section of people represented. I really think that representation matters. People need to see themselves in aviation, right? They need a role model, whether that's somebody that's a person of color or somebody that's openly gay. We need representation in this industry. And I think that one of the things this event did a really good job of was showing that people come from a wide variety of backgrounds. Educators can take that back to their students and now they have examples to show them. Did I mention the ducks? The Peabody is known for having five ducks that are paraded down to their lobby fountain each day at 11 and back up to their, not kidding, duck palace on the roof. The march of the world famous Peabody Ducks. It is quite the spectacular. So I've been covering these symposiums since we first started doing them way back in 2016 and they're always really cool but this year had a certain energy to it. Maybe it's that these educators haven't been able to gather in person for this for the last two years. Maybe it's the setting here, the Grand Peabody Hotel, but something had a palpable excitement in the air. You could just tell how fired up these teachers were and how they want to carry that energy back to their classrooms across the country. It's been and great to see that happen here in person with them. In Memphis, Tennessee, Sierra Harrop, AOPA pilot. Oh, yes, I got it to work. I was determined. Oh, please send that to us. Oh, that was good.